Is it girls' night out or maybe it's date night, but you don't have the perfect jewelry to wear to add that little bit of sparkle? Well, grab your bits and pieces of Friendly Plastic because I have the perfect solution for you to make jewelry in less than 10 minutes. You'll make it, it'll be sparkly, and you'll be out the door in no time. So you can see here that I have collected together several strips of Friendly Plastic, both in bright colors and gold, and then I have some patterns. All I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off a strip of Friendly Plastic with my scissors. I'm not going to measure. I'm just going to cut a random strip. It doesn't even have to be straight. Lay your strips together side by side, and now we're going to apply the dry heat with the heat gun. It's going to take about 20 seconds. I've got a few gaps here where the plastic um, was separated there, so I'm just going to close those together with my finger. Now remember, you'll know if your plastic is ready to go if it puts a little fingerprint in there when you touch it. Also, if it bubbles, it is too hot, and you'll uh, want to remove it from the heat, let it cool down a little bit. So now what I'm going to do is just use my tweezers to pick it up off my work table. And I'm using, I'm working right on a nonstick mat that I've coated with just a little bit of petroleum jelly. And now all I'm going to do is I'm going to fold the friendly plastic into a nice, pleasing shape. And at this point, I can add any beads or whatever embellishments that I want. When I'm ready, I'm going to cool it in the water. So to finish off our pendant, what I've done is I've taken a length of wire. And this can be any length at all. I hate to measure, so I really kind of hate to tell you, you know, just how much wire to use. But it's probably 8 to 12 inches long, something like that. I'm going to create a loop on the end here with my round nose pliers. snip off the end. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this behind my pendant and I'm just going to randomly wrap the wire around. Make sure that you secure your little loop around your pendant also. So all you'll need to attach this to a chain is a little jump ring. Remember, you can get more project ideas and inspiration on our blog at friendlyplastic.blogspot.com. There's lots and lots of project ideas for you to see. And remember to check out more of our YouTube videos on our YouTube channel at Friendly Plastic TV. I'm Linda Peterson. I'll be back again to share more tips and techniques working with Friendly Plastic.